Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the process of cleaning while pregnant. And I got to tell you, it has been a long time since there's been a bun in this oven. And so to refresh my memory, I'm going to be cleaning with this. A watermelon in a backpack. Let's go. So this pack weighs about 15 pounds, which is about what the average woman would gain in her second trimester. We're going to be covering cleaning tasks in the two major rooms in your home, which are the kitchen and the bathroom. Let's go. Cleaning the kitchen is a never ending thankless job. And that's on a good day. Get an apron. I've been cleaning for a while here with my little bundle of watermelon and Something I found so useful is this little apron with three pockets. I can place my towel in here, another cloth sprayed with some glass cleaner in here, and some munchies in the last pocket. And don't we all hate when this happens? When you're expecting, bending over can be a pain literally. Cut the finger from an old rubber glove and slide it over your broom handle. This will hold it in place. Now, I don't actually believe in mopping. In my opinion, washing floors on hands and knees is the best way to go. But if you're preggers, you get a pass from me. I purchased this microfiber spray mop from Amazon and it definitely gets the job done. It comes with reusable pads and a reusable bottle that works with any type of floor cleaner. And one of these cool multi-purpose scrapers. Just fill the bottle with cleaning solution and snap it in this little holder. When you pull the trigger at the top of the handle, the mop puts out a uniform spray. Looks like my floors kinda needed that. Well, my succulent peach, this concludes our time in the kitchen. Let's move on to a place where dreams come true. Oops, no, just kidding. We're gonna clean the bathroom. Those of you who have followed me for any length of time know that I struggle to find a tool that will clean a shower quickly and efficiently. So I wanna share with you my most recent favorite. It is this, voila. It is actually meant to be a window washer, but it does an amazing job at cleaning a shower. It also comes with this uh, detachable telescoping handle, which makes it even amazinger. Pre-spray your shower with the cleaner and let it soak for a few minutes. This special bucket really helps when using this contraption, but it's not required. Soak the pad with your favorite multi-purpose cleaning solution mixed with water and perhaps a little baking soda and get to work. The squeegee does a great job of wicking the water off when you're done. Side note, apron comes in handy here too. I do have a few other videos that may be helpful here. They are about such fun things as telescoping handles, baking soda, and a DIY daily shower spray. And I bet you know where you can find them. You've probably spent some quality time with your toilet during your first trimester, or maybe you still are. The thing is, sometimes a lady would like time away from her toilet. The good news is space is possible with one of these. It is the Fluid Master Flush and Sparkle Self-Cleaning Toilet System. So here's the skinny on this thing. It cleans for about three months. It comes in blue, green for septic systems, or bleach. It cleans with every flush. Yes, you have to install it, but it's really easy. Trust me, I have less than zero mechanical skills and even I can do it. In fact, I've loved this system so much that I'm going to be giving one away. So if you'd like to register, see the rules and how to enter in the description box below. Yeah, yeah, I know I go a little bonkers with the cleaning ideas sometimes, but one thing that's been working really well for me lately are these little pots. You will need a powdered cleaner such as Dirtex, optionally these scent boosters, measuring spoons, funnel, and these water-soluble bags that I came across. 
I believe they're actually used for bass fishing, carp fishing or something, but they are also the shiz for holding powdered cleaners such as Spick and Span or Durtex. For Durtex, pour two tablespoons of cleaner into the baggie read the side of the box if you're using a different cleaner and optionally add a sprinkle of scent booster to give your pods a boost of scent use a little water to seal them up i like to lay mine out separately to dry overnight in the morning these perfect pods are ready for your perfect cleaning routine the great thing is that they save space, they're perfectly measured, and they're portable because we all should have an emergency supply of cleaning pods. You never know when an opportunity to clean something will present itself. They dissolve completely in water and clean up like a dream. So go ahead and stuff a few in your cleaning caddy and grab one whenever you're in the mood for a pre-measured cleaner, which is pretty much all the time. Pregnant peaches. I salute you. You are literally creating another human being while rocking all of your other responsibilities at the same time. I wouldn't want to be you. You are a force. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look me up on my other social media links listed below. That's all for now, my peaches. Keep it real and stay true to yourself. I'll see you next time.